I always loved biology at school, and, but knew that medicine wasn't for me because I'm a little bit squeamish. I looked through the UCAS prospectus to see what other biomedical type programs were out there and spotted one that I didn't know what it meant, pharmacology. Not knowing what that was about, I did a bit of research and really was so pleased that I did because it really struck a chord with me. I loved the idea of finding out about new drugs and finding out how current drugs worked and I'm so pleased I've never looked back. Undergraduate students studying on pharmacology or pharmacology molecular genetics programs learn a range of skills that are valuable to employers. How to analyse data, how to conduct experiments, how to orate their results through production of posters or giving oral presentations, for example. These are all skills that are really important for anyone thinking about a research career, but they're also skills that a wide range of employers find in invaluable. I love both aspects of my career at King's, the research and the teaching. On the research front, it's absolutely thrilling and exhilarating when you get new data from a big study that you've just completed. That's a real adrenaline rush. On the other hand, from a teaching point of view, I love all the workshops that I'm involved in when I have a real chance to engage with students on a one-to-one -one basis. Research in my laboratory is focused on finding new improved treatments for Parkinson's disease. Two projects that we're working on at the moment. Firstly, trying to find ways to provide protection to the remaining neurons in the brain of people with Parkinson's disease. The second project is much more in its infancy and this is where we're looking at whether we can use enzymes to break down molecules within the brain that stop it from naturally repairing. And so what we're trying to do in this study is break down those molecules using enzymes in order to help the Parkinsonian brain repair more naturally. Two people have probably inspired my research career more than others. The first of those is Professor Arthur Weston, who was my PhD supervisor and got me into this whole thing in the first place. And the second is my late grandmother, who had Parkinson's disease herself, and is an inspiration for me to continue in this particular research field. Every morning, I travel over London Bridge and I look left and see the Tower Bridge in all its glory. It's a real fantastic start to my day and really uplifting. The world is your oyster when you're in London. For students who are thinking of applying to King's to study pharmacology, pharmacology molecular genetics or indeed any other programme here, I really advise you to come along to one of our pre-application open days. You'll be able to talk to myself and other members of staff here and current students and find out what it's really like to study at King's and what we have to offer. If you live overseas or can't make the dates of our pre-application open days, then I do advise you to log on to our virtual fairs. There you'll be able to talk to current students and staff and ask any questions that you may have about studying at King's. We're a really friendly department, we have excellent student feedback and we're ranked third in the world for pharmacology behind only Oxford and Harvard and I think these facts speak for themselves.